All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And citations to the Akim out there laboring of the hopeful elect that's doing this work and truth and sincerity. And uh, brothers out there, you know, um, pretty much, you know, we know we're being strong in the faith and continuing to press on in this truth. And, uh, you know, we pretty got, you know, got people that are pretty much unbelievers. Okay. And they continue to harp on uh, why we claim to be uh, the children of Israel, you know, and, um, you know, we know through the spirit, you know, the Lord has given us that the spiritual uh, wake up call, so to speak, um, where we were uh, fully pretty much persuaded in our own minds. And we pretty much uh, took up the plow. You know, and haven't stopped. And pretty much, you know, you got the, the naysayers out there, you know, that pretty much are trying to uh, make light of what the Lord, uh, Lord's covenant, covenant was uh, uh, with his people. And pretty much when we go back into the wilderness, you know, we were in the wilderness 40 years. And 40 years, pretty much, we were pretty much going through the uh the the covenant with the lord and the lord gave us laws statutes and commandments pretty much for us to follow and pretty much was repetitive in this situation as well you know okay because why because we were a stiff necked people even at that time even at being delivered uh, uh, by the lord and us seeing it with our own eyes you know we pretty much uh uh straight off and uh, from our power, you see, even even when the Lord pretty much had delivered us, you see, but the Lord gave us conditions, okay, um, to where if we followed Him wholeheartedly, that we would be blessed. But if we transgressed against Him, okay, the curses will be upon us, and it will be for a sign and a wonder, okay. Uh, to the, even to this day And you got these so-called Christians out there That make light of that whole thing You know that was an epic event Okay because now this is what we're talking about As far as with you want to talk about uh, Our salvation Okay and who it's for And who the Lord ultimately gave The law, statutes and commandments to Okay the scriptures speak about That he has not dealt so with no other nation As far as him giving them the, the law You see but this was an epic event, okay, that pretty much lasted 40 years, you know, uh, and our travels going into the land that floweth with milk and honey, you know, pretty much that trek from uh, through the wilderness should have only took about 11 days. But we were pretty much uh, really much held, you know, in through the wilderness for 40 years. But all this, pretty much this time, we were entering into the covenant with the Lord and pretty much the old um, generations had to die off. And for the new generation to pretty much, you know, uh, take heed, okay, to, you know, the law of sessions and commandments and pretty much go into the land that the Lord has had pretty much given to us as a possession. So without any further ado, right here, I have a freeze uh, a frame of the movie uh, Goodbye Uncle Tom, which was back in 1971. And it was by an Italian director uh, by the name of Juanaterio Jacopente. Okay? And pretty much he was into making a lot of these, these what do you want to call shockumentaries? You know, where he um, added shock value to a lot of the documentaries that he have done over his career. And this, nevertheless, is 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 pretty much one that really hits home, and we can pretty much go into the scriptures with this, what you see here on the screen. Now, this pretty much this particular scene was when, um, you know, the slave master pretty much had the slaves on the auction auction block, and pretty much, you know, there was a room that they had where there was uh Israelite boys, pretty much. You know, uh, dolled up, as you see them here, you know, uh, pretty much looking looking on the sweet side, 
you know, they pretty much would, would lather them down with uh, different ointments and, and, and uh, uh, what do you want to call as uh, glitter. They would put glitter on their bodies to let the, the you know, the, the shimmer and to make them more uh, attractive uh, to the buyer. Now, when you go through um, what the slave master was saying um, concerning these boys, was well, that they were a hot commodity by the, the, by the buyer, okay? And pretty much they would go and they would buy these slaves and put them, and put, put them to work on their plantation, or they would ultimately uh, use them uh, uh, for their personal pleasure. Now, this right here is, not, is nevertheless, you know, uh, um, the harsh reality of what happened to the people, man. You see, now when this movie first came out, this movie got very bad reviews uh, for the fact is that, you know, he called out a lot of the uh, uh, the, the closed door, uh, uh, you know, uh, antics that went on, you know, uh, during that time, you know, and he pretty much was uh, given uh, accounts of what really went, went, went on. You see, and this right here. What a slave master pretty much was saying that was doing the auctioning, he pretty much said that uh, that these b boys were pretty much ripped out of their hands literally uh, before he can even finish bidding, uh, um, the doing the bidding for 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 them, you see, but they would fetch for 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 um high prices, you see, but real quick, let's get into um. Goodbye, Uncle Tom. And the question poses as, is Goodbye, Uncle Tom accurate? Okay? And it says, based on true events, the filmmakers explore the antebellum. And antebellum just means um, before the Civil War. Okay? Which means before war. All right? This explores the before war America using period documents to examine in graphic detail the racist ideology and degrading conditions Faced by oh you know, so-called Africans under slavery, okay, and this is what this movie pretty much had had went into, you see, all right, and these curses are pretty much their real man, you know, okay, and pretty much you know uh, the Lord pretty much went further into detail, um, concerning our slavery, all right. Now, the Lord always dealt with the children of Israel, uh, uh as far as judgment wise as scattering them amongst the nations and putting them in slavery, okay? That was always the the the, uh, the judgment that the Lord had rendered unto his people, man, for pretty much disobeying them, you know? And the Lord pretty much uh, uh, would have mercy, okay, when we went to go cry out unto him and would deliver us, you see? But then, you know, us being a, a stiff-necked people, we would pretty much... Uh, uh, you know, stray away from the Lord again. You see, here it is. We've been doing this now, to here, now, okay, here in, in its final kingdom, okay, all right, in these last days, you know, there's a, 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 a awakening, okay, and we're pretty much are, are joining, um, you know, the bride to the bridegroom, okay, through the prophecies and through going out on the highways and hedges and proclaiming uh, the year of our Lord. You see, but nevertheless, you know, uh, we are a people not regarded, man. Okay. Nothing, nothing applies to us. Uh, uh, we're not, it's not talking about us. And, and this has nothing to do with, with the, what you don't know what you're talking about. And, and, you know, then these are, these are natural men that cannot receive the spirit, man. Okay. You see, though, you know, this is only given to a, 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 a certain uh, uh, elect. Okay. That was predestined uh, uh, from the beginning of the earth, man, of the world. You see? All right. And pretty much here, you know, um, and Joel, he goes into the account of this actually happening. All right. Now, let's get the scripture real quick. OK. All right. Let's go to Joel, the third chapter. OK. And it says, OK, the nations will be judged. You see. All right. So it says, for behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, speaking about the northernness of the kingdom and chiefly talking about you Negro Latinos and Native Americans. OK, and our people that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, pretty much, you know, that may look like the other nations, but go back to the stock of Jacob. All right. This is not a black thing. You see, 
You know, this is this is something that they cannot get around. All right. Now, the Lord said he will bring again, which means turn back. OK, the captivity. Right. It says I, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel. OK, so the Lord is pretty much gearing up this war, man. And we know that this is we know that our redemption is nigh. We have to understand that we have to be plugged into what's going on on the geopolitical scale, okay, around the earth, and to know that the Lord is pretty much a uh, uh, working His Spirit uh, 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 through the kings of, of men, okay. You see, the kings of the earth is is, is pretty much are being controlled by how about Shem Yahushai, man. You see, but the Lord has a determination to bring these people to war, okay. All right, and it says, right, right, He will plead with them. OK, so meaning that he will pretty much bring judgment upon them. OK, he will judge them round about. OK, but it says that he will plead with them there for his people and for his heritage. For this is something that's going on in the earth that you're seeing the war beating drums that are that are, are, are pounding. OK, it is for our sakes. We have to pretty much understand the, 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 the ramifications of what's really going on, man. OK, and we see. Now, the big talk about these ICBMs, we know that that's the day of the Lord, okay? So now this big talk about this and, and, and the threat of it and the people are pretty much, are, are you know, uh, this has been a, a, a mainstream talking point, man, okay? This is not something to where you can pretty much sweep under the rug and, and ignore the elephant in the room or, 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 or talk about some conspiracy, man, you see, okay? This is real hot button topics, man, that's being talked about on the daily right now, man, okay? And it's pretty much spiraling out of control, man, to where these nations will pretty much will not have no other choice but to pretty much um, uh, the scriptures say, man, you know, then I shall put an evil thought into them. OK, you see. All right. But it says, man, that the Lord's going to plead with them. Right. Of whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. You see. Right. Here's the point. And they cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot. And sold a girl for wine that they may drink, you know, and that's pretty much the point there. You know, this is a lot, lot being cast. OK. All right. And this is a boy being sold as harlots, man. OK. You see. And then as you continue on, but I'm not going to play the video. You see that they have uh, various other ones that they show ones that are pretty much fully clad and in glitter. OK. Uh, body paint painting, so to speak, you know, of these uh. Uh, metallic uh, type colors of, of silver and gold that they have them that from 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 the head to toe, man. OK, you see, and they're making them more appealing. OK, to the 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 slave owner, man. You see. OK, so now we're going to sit here. We're going to continue to harp on the curses. We're going to continue to harp on on the prophecies. We're going to continue to harp on the Lord that had he pretty much has bringing that covenant in, in with us, man. OK. Because this was the condition of us breaking that covenant, man. It's plain and simple. You know, it's not a light thing to where you're going to just try to sit here like, you know, the likes like vocab going around the earth with the pretty much with the frequent uh, flyer miles. OK. And we know that he sent, you know, nobody has all that time in the world. But then to to, to try to uh, uh, debunk uh, what it is that we're doing. But meanwhile, he's not even doing the work, the will that he's supposed to be have done. Uh, uh, calling himself a so-called an, an apologist, man. Okay, you see, he's he certain is uh, uh, Satan is definitely working with this individual, man. Okay, and he's doing nothing but uh, really bringing this this truth forth uh, uh, more and in, in, uh, more of a light, man. You see, all right, but pretty much, man. You know, hey, we're gonna continue to uh, uh, bring out this this truth and pretty much line everything up that we see in the earth, man, with the scriptures, man. You know. But just a little quick hit, just a little quick example, man, of, of these curses of being real, man. And what the Lord is going to make a record pinch of these nations, man. OK. And these are are, are pretty much well-documented accounts. There's uh, the well-documented accounts uh, uh, continuously on our destruction, on our slavery, on on uh, pretty much uh, uh, Deuteronomy 20, 28, 68, man. OK. Irrefutable, man. You know, everybody else can try to say, oh, well, everybody been this. Oh, well, listen, no, but nobody's more documented in, in, in an epic, uh, uh, pretty much a, an epic downfall of a, of a whole entire nation, man. 
That has to be the hand, the hand of the Most High that has done that, man. Okay, the Lord said that there will be no might in our hands, man. You see, even though we are the stronger people, man. So it's all of the Lord that pretty much put us in that situation, man. Okay, and it's time for us to turn back to the Lord and seek Him ten times more. You know how? You know what was more difficult than that? You know, you got these so-called Christians trying to come up against this truth, and pretty much, man, they are pretty much dead set to do evil, man. Okay, you know the laws are done away with, do it that I will, and 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 we're saved already. You don't even know what understand the the the, the ramifications of what is, is 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 about to happen, man. You don't even they don't even understand what are they being saved from, man. You know, but I'm gonna leave it there, and I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, Shalom.